All right, today on um, Gaming Plus on Pirates Memory Lane, we're we'll playing the uh, Atari 7800. And I once again, let's take a look at this cool controller right here. But we got the uh, brushed metal Atari 7800 joystick with two buttons as the joystick itself, and it has knob control as well. Cool stuff. And this is nice. And uh, today we're going to be playing, let's see if we can focus this camera, we're going to be playing Centipede on the 7800. Now the 7800, the uh, label art kind of sucks because it's monochrome and uh, unlike the 2600 which had nice colorful illustrations, this one's kind of mono uh, monochrome. It's like black and gray uh, but still we get some nice little small little illustration right there I guess it's cost cutting measures but let's see if the gameplay makes up for the uh, crappy label art <sighs> yeah let's see what we get here it's um so far I've been quite impressed by arcade ports on the 7800 they, they've been pretty good so far from what I played so let's see if what we get here. And it works on the first try, thank God. All right, we have Centipede. All right, so we have Novice Mode, Standard, Advanced, and Expert. We will keep it on Standard. All right, let's give this a try. It's definitely really good. Oh, I actually went upwards. It's definitely a graphical improvement over the 2600. To be fair, the 2600 version has some fantastic gameplay. Yeah. Alright. Alright, see? Uh oh. We're doing pretty good. The spider is a lot more crazier in this version of the game. Now, I, I've never really played too many versions of this game. I've only played um, the 2600 version and maybe the arcade version once or twice. Oh boy, oh no! Oh, the spider got me. I've got a game over, so... At first glance, and in the you know, first try of this game, this game is actually a pretty decent arcade version of this game. Like, a good arcade port. I must say, out of all the uh, 7800 games I have, I have a small library, but... It does appear that the 7800 has some very, very good 80s arcade ports. Uh, I'm quite impressed. Let's try it advanced. Oh! Whoa, what the hell 
was that? Oh, the spider got me. Wow, this is actually pretty good. I said this is the best 80s console version of the game in my opinion. Wow, if you switch swap buttons every so often you get some really good shooting, rapid shooting. Alright, there we go. Oh my god. We got a game over. Wow, this is insane. This is crazy. And there is an extra mode too. Let's see what this is. And the games are moving a lot faster now. Oh! Putting a lot more pressure on us. Let's see if we can actually uh, play with it right here so you guys can see it better. Oh my god. Alright, let's try that again. There, there you go. Alright, switch hands. See if we do better with this hand. Is there any other like modes? Oh, they give like a high score. Look at that. All right, there is a two-player alternative. Dual-player competition. Team play. Oh, that's cool. So there is several different modes in this game that you can do. Let's try this one out. Look how slow this is. This is embarrassingly slow. I guess if you want to practice, then... There you go. So this uh, Novus mode is like super slow. I'll say the regular standard version is better. The regular standard mode. All right, we did pretty good. See what we get here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was so close. This is a very good version of the game. I like this uh, version of the game quite a bit. It's, it's, it's pretty good.
I still love the 2600 version. But this is a huge graphical leap. More closer to the arcade version. It, it looks really good. See if I can research this here. So the uh, sense of speed on this game, on this console, is really, really good. It's a uh, pretty close to the arcade version. It's better than uh, all the other console versions that I've actually played. It's actually pretty decent. Um, I must say that it does appear that the 7800, when it came out, Atari was more focused on giving you the arcade experience in your home rather than giving you actual home console games that are not in the arcade. Like uh, Sega and Nintendo were focused on giving you an experience that you could not get in the arcade while giving you the arcade experience as well. But it looks like Atari went straight out to give you the arcade experience with the 7800. And I'll give them credit where credit's due. There's a lot of arcade ports on the 7800 that are really, really good. In my opinion, better than the NES, better than the Master System. And uh, it's really... This is a pretty good. This is a good example right here. This is actually a pretty decent arcade port. Uh, definitely gets a thumbs up. Uh, what do you guys think right here? How do you feel about the 7800? A lot of people don't like it, but... I think it's actually pretty decent, this game. Uh, gets a thumbs up. What do you guys think? Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what you think. I'll see you next time.